What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and this is a, gonna be a three-part series on the company Vinyl Frog. I've worked with them in the past and that's what this vinyl is on the car, this peach or salmon color that's on the car. And it is a super gloss, really cool color. Uh, and that's what Vinyl Frog is known for. Man, it looks like liquid glass on the hood. Look at the reflection of the clouds in the sun. It's absolutely ridiculous. As you get up close, you see the carbon. Try not to go so fast. It's awesome. Absolutely amazing. And this thing looks amazing. I, this looks like I just poured glass all over carbon. Way, way glossier than I expected. There's a couple large companies out there that make vinyl, but unless you like 50 shades of gray, that's pretty much all they're making. They're not making bright colors. The difference when you go with a different type of film, you get lots of options. Vinyl Frog has over 150 colors to choose from, gloss or metallic. And what we're doing today is we're replacing the, the vinyl on the hood. Well, actually, I've already taken the vinyl off that was here before, and I, I do have PPF on this. Uh, the whole car is PPF but which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for me because doing vinyl over PPF makes it a little bit more tacky. Uh, it makes it stick more uh, versus regular paint. But we're going to be putting carbon fiber vinyl over top of this and it's going to look really cool. This is really nice carbon fiber. It's a very gloss carbon fiber, so it's going to really pop. And this is the vinyl. I rolled out a five and a half foot piece for the hood. Let me see if I can get you up close to this. You see, this is a super gloss carbon fiber weave. This is a, a tight weave. This film does have a cap sheet on it. And then also a thicker backing, which is really cool because you know in a lot of films, you, you might see some orange peel. Well, you're not really gonna see it with this because this plastic layer goes against the other, in between, sandwiches the vinyl in between the two layers. And then you don't get that orange peel sitting with glue on top of glue and vinyl on top of vinyl. The way they have this is going to give you a smoother, more realistic look. Now I've wiped down everything, put tape on everything. Even on the wiper blades, I move those up. I'm gonna lay this out and then trim off some. I'll show you what I trim. So you, you notice I've cut this up and it's rolled up really big. With that cap sheet, you kind of want to have a roll that's very large so you don't get tuttling effect through this uh, when it sits there waiting for you to use it. So this is a three-part series, like I said, with, with Vinyl Frog. So we're doing the carbon fiber today on the hood. Next is I'm going to be doing PPF. They sent out some PPF for the hood of my Plaid Model S. I don't have that back yet. Should be back from the body shop soon, but I'm going to be taking off the vinyl that's on that car because it's already half and half. And then I'm going to be doing PPF on the hood and I'm going to try it on the bumper, full bulk sheets. It's going to be hard because I really don't have a lot of experience with PPF, but I think with this material, it's going to come out really good. The third portion of this, I'm changing out the color of salmon. We're going to go with a different color. I'm not going to show you that in this video, but we're going to be changing out the color. That's going to be in October. We're going to be changing this color. Well, not this color, but we're going to be changing this color out for a really cool Porsche color, kind of a Porsche color, but it looks really cool. There's plenty of options to choose from in just one of these palettes. In the shade, it still looks wet. You can still see the clouds like it's a mirror. This thing looks awesome. Look at that shine. So Vinyl Frog is a different type of film. Most films are a calendar film or a cast film. The difference being with a calendar film, it's not designed for heavy curves on a car. So the Model Y is a nice flat car. It doesn't have too many curves. We do have some curves, especially that trunk. You do have to do it in two pieces, but it's a thicker film. You can get a really super high gloss film with it or high gloss uh, finish and you don't get a lot of orange peel with the, uh, this type of calendar film. And it's kind of like a hybrid between uh, the two films. And it um, has self-healing properties. So you scratch it, it will come out in the sun for the most part. You know, just take a key to it, probably not gonna come out. It's 
go across here. Oh, let's turn it. <laughs> I'm gonna get some magnets because the fenders are metal on the Model Y and we can stick it here to fit everything. I didn't give myself a lot of room because of the way I'm gonna be rolling this out. I have plenty down here, so I'm gonna trim this off and we can use that later. So we'll use this piece for the front lip later. Set that over there. And then what I always wanna do, I want this to sit flat. These wipers are kinda of in the way. So I always cut a few inches above where the hood is. And then we can lay this completely flat before we even pull the backing off or anything. Everything is covered, and then now it's ready to pull the backing out and start squeegeeing it down. So at this point, you wanna take off this cap sheet. It's only for transportation, because uh, otherwise it's gonna fight you. But you wanna take this off a certain way. You want to drag this across the film itself. Because as you're pulling this off, you're creating a lot of static. Static will pull some dust over to it. This kind of minimizes it. I'm actually going to fold this over. Sorry, that's loud. And keep it against the car. And I throw it back there. I don't want the static up front here. I want this to be, uh, have no static or de-statitized. Is that a word? No, I just, I think I made that up. Put that in the dictionary. And now this film is a little bit more manageable because that other, that plastic was very, very tough. Now let me pull you in so you can see what this looks like. Not sure if you can tell the weave, but this looks a lot like real carbon fiber. Now, I do have real carbon fiber on my side mirrors here, and it looks very close to the same. This looks really cool. So I'm gonna have a helper come over. My father's gonna come over and help hold this up as we do this, because this is a large piece. It does kind of require two people, and you kind of have to hold it at a certain angle. So what I did there was I sliced it, but then I want to make a channel so we can stick. So what I did was I took that, that knife and cut a slit all the way down the middle. We're going to pull that off and we can stick that to the car first and then pivot from that hinge to one side and then do the other side. So that's what you need two people for because this is very, uh, the, the glue is very tacky. It's a high tech uh, glue. Hold this up, and then you're gonna, we're gonna set we're gonna set it down. But make sure you're covered. Make sure you got coverage there. I do hear it. Right. Are you there? I, are you at the edge of the tape? I'm I'm at the edge of the well, a little bit. I, Go farther over to you. This okay. Edge, okay. That's okay. good. And then get my squeegee. Lift up a little bit. How far are you there? Still, All right, I'm still where it was. All right. So I'm going to lock down the middle. Make sure we got enough here. So I just locked down the middle, the hinge there. So now we can pivot this over. Pull back a little bit here. You want to make sure you make a straight line there. And then you're going to, oops, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that? Dust. Dust. All right. Now you're going to hold, switch hands. There you go. There. You're going to hold this. You're going to pull this backing. Okay. Let me win. As that's pretty good. I'm going to wet this. And I'm going to move the camera over to here because 
And I'm gonna work in the middle. This film has air, uh, air release features. So the air can come out. Since this is a bubble, the hood is kind of curved. Kind of have to work, so pull a little bit more. Pull the backing. Keep going. Keep going. This is not as tacky as the other film before. This is actually really good. Yeah, it's not as, not as tacky as before. Might be able to do this with one person. And keep going. The water really helps with the soft squeegee. Up a little bit higher there. more. Let me get some more water. That's pretty good already. Yeah. Alright. Alright, right, pull the backing more. All the way now. All right. That actually went a lot better than before. It did. With a different film that I had on here. That's at the edge. Already there. And man, that looks like glass. Good. That's really high gloss. That's water cooking anyway. away. Awesome. Wow. That is very high gloss stuff. So yeah, this this film actually worked out pretty well. Um, let me pull you in so you can see. You saw we didn't struggle much, and I was squeegeeing kind of hard, but the uh, the light scratches will come out in the sun, so I'm not too worried about that. But that looks a lot like carbon fiber. It looks very high gloss, and I just went to the edge. Now we're going to do the same thing on that side and then I'll show you what the edges are like when, when I trim this out. And then of course seeing it outside in the sun is going to make this thing pop. But we're just going to fold this over do the same thing on that side. So now the process is to just heat up the edges, have things roll over a little bit. As this rolls over, I'm going to put my glove on and as this rolls over I'll be able to trim off the back there. Uh, I do want a long, uh, a larger reveal here, like I said before, because I want to lift the hood up and then wrap it underneath it. I think that's going to look really nice, but I want to first heat this edge and run my finger along with my glove on to really force that down there. And then we'll lift the hood after we cut that back edge. So get my wrapping glove on, definitely used. And what this is doing, this is actually shrinking the film a little bit. I'll pull you in closer over there after I get this side done. And this is the, another good reason why I put the tape here. See, it's able to slide on here and work its way down. So I'm going to put force my finger over this. Don't need a huge wrap on this side. Really, you want the wrap on the front side because that's where the air is hitting it. The air is going right over this, so it's not as important. All right, so now we're over at this corner. I'm going to loosen this corner up, but put my thumb right at the point, and you'll see how much this stuff actually shrinks. So it's loose here and loose on this fender. able to wrap right around that corner. It's nice and soft. And then continue all the way down here. It's 
almost like it's wrapping itself around the corner. Now that this edge is nice and tight all the way wrapped over, and I'll make sure it's down and loose. Bring it out just about a half inch, and we're gonna come from behind and slice all the way back to this corner, flush with the back of the hood. So what this looks like is you just come in from behind, poke through, and all I'm doing is riding along the back of the hood all the way to this point. And I'm actually gonna continue just a little bit because we want that to wrap around tight and we don't want it to bunch. And then cut that film away, go to the other side, the opposite way. Tuck underneath, and it's riding directly underneath the hood. You just gotta watch out for these. Sometimes they're in the way. And I'm just pushing the material down, make sure I have enough space. And we're gonna seal the deal with my finger, making sure it's all the way down. I'll use some heat as well. And then after that, I'm gonna trim a little bit here so I don't have all this bunched up and then we can open the hood. But you wanna be able to grab some, so you wanna leave some, but you don't want a whole bunch where it's grabbing onto the car. Now let's pop the hood and we gotta be careful with this. I have a power frunk, so it's not just popping it and pulling it, so. All right, looks like we're all set. So for this, before I use heat, I'm just gonna take my thumb and kind of force the material back down to where it was before we heated it when it was down. And that's gonna allow this to just roll over. I'll start that curve over and then we're gonna take heat and do the same thing. And you'll see it just fold right around. It's gonna look cool. Now, I wasn't going all the way wrapping it over because we'd get a bunch of wrinkles. So now at this point, with it still warm, I'm just gonna pull a little bit. And then that way we can get a nice straight line and get a quarter inch fold over all the way down. Now that everything's down, we're gonna take our cheater glasses so we can see better, take our knife, and we're gonna click and get a clean blade. This these blades have all these uh, angles here. These are 30 degree angles. We want to click and get a fresh, we want to click and get a fresh one so we get a nice sharp point because we're not gonna press very hard. But what we're gonna do is follow that line all the way around using our finger as a guide on there and then we'll be able to remove all this film. I'm gonna barely score the material. And you have to be creative sometimes with your cuts. Going to the corner and pulling carefully. So once I trim out the rest, I'm gonna park this outside in the sun and really let the sun bake on this, bake this down and also get rid of all those scratches because this does have the self-healing properties. Mm -hmm.